Hi guys. This week's Playing the News comes to you from the Dutch North Sea coast. Vacation time. Now, normally vacation time means cucumber time, but this year there seems to be no end to European political and economical news. Right there on the other side, you should have been able to see Great Britain, but after Brexit, it moved just that much further away. Turkey is, well, Turkey and Italy has a banking crisis so severe that it's competing with Greece for country with the biggest financial problems. This week, I am playing a game that tries to make the best out of a bad situation. A game wherein you might be able to see opportunity where everyone else sees disaster. This week, I am playing Crises. In Crises, players take on the roles of entrepreneurs in the fictional country of Axia. Axia is a country with a great historic past, but is currently in its longest recession ever. There has been a bailout by the game's fictional economic union, but to ensure the country strives to do better, they laid out an austerity plan, giving the players a goal for each round in different difficulty levels. Each round, Axia's financial status is adjusted according to how well the players are keeping up with the plan. If they collectively keep falling behind, they might end the game prematurely. But if you're cunning, this just might give you victory. Crises is a worker placement game. Investing companies and hire workers to get your companies to produce. Help Axia by exporting its domestic goods. Importing goods is expensive, but is sometimes necessary. Now, I only have a prototype to my disposal, but I really enjoy it. The steampunky art looks great. The game is right now fully funded on Kickstarter, and if a deep worker placement game is your thing, I suggest you check it out. Crises. Thanks for watching, and happy summer, everyone.